Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm back. I've got um, the person I told you about, Melissa, who I had a reading from, so I can give you the real scoop. She's um, on Facebook at Sacred Fire Psychic Readings on Facebook. And um, her name's Melissa. She also has a phone number, so if this, her phone number shows in the phone, don't worry, this is her business, this is how she does it. It's 734 302-3330, and I'll put it in the box below from this video. But she was taking a look at Trump, you guys, so let's let's get... Hi, Melissa. Hi, Linda. <laughs> so listen, she hit me on my ex-husband first thing. She knew exactly what I was going through. It was a little upsetting. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It, you made me look at some stuff that uh, I probably didn't want to have to look at. I, su uh, I support him, and, you know, the guides came in and told her, eh, it's time to cut the cut the cut the cord so thank you <laughs> melissa for coming on so tell us what you were working on last night okay so i was watching uh your video from yesterday linda yeah. and uh i was like oh my god <laughs> maybe she'll give us a past life of trump it was like oh <laughs> but you do <laughs> do past lives this, this, huh? one of the reasons i'm featuring you is i get so many people want to know about past lives but i'm not a past life person per se I, sometimes I get it, but you can actually go in and kind of tell what's going on with, with uh, what's with past lives, with maybe what they're what they should be doing in this life. Yeah, well, past lives are are so interesting. They're because I feel like I travel to that place mm -hmm. and wherever that is, and I can kind of feel and experience that life for that person. So yeah, they're they're fascinating. I love it. So do you want me to go ahead and... Yeah, tell us about Trump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's a joyful experience. <laughs> I was joking. It was like, um, I was telling you before, yeah, as I was, well, I lit a candle and I said a prayer, protecting, protecting myself with light. And um, But, it, it, you know, his energy is just so bad. Um, it, it's hard. It's hard, huh? It's oh, hard. It's Sometimes awful. I'm it's, exhausted. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it makes me sick to my stomach. So I just, wow. uh, but I went in there, and uh, so um, so this lifetime. So we have many lifetimes, and um, I don't believe this was his um, the, the the lifetime before his current lifetime. This was, but this is one that's very much. Uh, sometimes our our past lives will um, uh, bump up against our present lives, and so those those experiences or those that karma. Are the, um, relationships etc are going to overlap so so this is a lifetime that they gave me so um in this life uh, he, uh my guides told me he was born in november of, of 1620 makes him, and he's a scorpio Whoa. um to, to a middle class family in amsterdam wow yeah so his name was um it's i'm not going to pronounce it correctly i don't think but it's the dutch version of william okay um so I actually looked, I looked it up, like it's W-I-L-L-E-I-M, Willem, or Illum, and his father was a lieutenant general, a mother was a housekeeper, and, and their, the, the faith at that time, I believe they belonged to the Reformed Church. Okay. I think, I have to uh, investigate this more, but I kind of heard my guide saying Calvinist leanings. So he was the middle son of three boys and two girls. Okay. And in this lifetime, he was of, of, of average intelligence, um, very obedient, uh, and, and, and I heard my guy say, like a robot. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, so the household is very strict. There's no affection or love expressed. Both mother and father are very self-involved, uh, just in, you know, they're just uh, doing their jobs as parents at the way they think they should, but to them, children should be seen and not heard. Um, the father expects absolute obedience um, and, um my guides uh, told me do as i say um so it's a very repressed household um so so willem um is uh, of stocky build medium height um he's gonna it does not shine in his studies doesn't think or question he's not philosophical at all yeah and you know he just he's 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 doing uh, he's playing his role going along um, and it's expected that um, all the boys will go into the military um, and follow their father's footsteps as a lieutenant general. But on his sixth birthday, William's 16th birthday, um, a friend of the family offers an apprenticeship as a bosun or petty officer um, on one of the, um, his merchant cargo ships. Yeah. 
that transports goods between Amsterdam and various countries. So this, this friend is very optimistic and enthusiastic about the role of the Dutch upon the expanding world trade scene. Yeah. And agreed that uh, Willem, or however it's pronounced, will start his, I'm going to say, going to say Willem, William, will start his apprenticeship um, the following spring. Um, so the, this friend promises that the boy will have rapid advancement. So, and that's what happens. He begins an apprenticeship aboard a, a ship. Um, so it takes about nine years for him to actually become a full bosun. So what bosuns are, they're petty officers that are completely, when they're in, uh, in the, the highest rank, they're completely in charge of the cargo of the ship. And okay. Every aspect of that. Um, so at the beginning of this apprenticeship, he's very innocent of the world. Um, he's been very protected, but he's soon exposed to the, the, you know, the more base world. Um, he loses his virginity at the age of 18, mm-hmm. to, and this is quote unquote <laughs> to a woman of loose morals. That's my guys. At that time, that's what she would be considered. Um, when they're docked in the port of Palermo, um, uh, uh, off the coast of Italy, or on the coast of Italy, uh-huh. and this is pretty much uh, um, this is the first time he has sex. Um, oh, and also it's pretty much his sex life for the. <laughs> rest of his life or most of his life one port of call to the next okay um, i think she was an older woman maybe 28 his sailor friend set it up for him yeah um so he's too repressed to really enjoy sex it's right just a way to fulfill his oh hold on one second the guy with the weed whacker is right behind me hold on okay i can wait sorry you guys we're gonna hold on one second okay there he's leaving now he was right under the window behind me yeah, so, but he, it was an older woman, and... Yeah, so this is, like, that's his first sexual experience. Um, and, but to him, yeah, I, I said it's like urination or something like that. It's it's just a basic, a baser need. Um, so he has a really limited range of emotions in this life. Okay. Um, he doesn't drink or indulge in drugs. Right. There's not addiction in that way. Um, his, his mode of operation is always to be in control. Um, live your life, don't think about it. He never thinks about morality, God, or his bigger picture, uh, or his picture in the bigger scheme of things. Right, but he'll change to whatever he thinks other people want to hear. Yeah, yeah. So he never marries, um, but I'm sure he has very, uh, my guy say he has very illegitimate children. You know, okay. He has no idea about them, he doesn't care about them, it's just whatever. So the company he works for as a bosun gets involved in the slave trade. Ooh. When, yeah, <laughs> when he's in his mid to late 20s. And um, uh, this does change him in a very significant way. Um, it, he, it brings a great deal of perversion and corruption into his life. Wow. Mm. He has never been absolutely, uh, oh, he has never had absolute life and death power over another human being. Okay. Before. He, he finds he likes it. Yeah, and he loves that military stuff, parades, yeah. etc. It gives him a sense of being godlike, and and this is how he perceived his father. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, a, a bosun is, a, as I said before, is involved in every aspect of a ship's cargo. Uh-huh. And, um, uh huh. And so, to him, the humans who were bought um, and sold into the slave trade were subhuman animals, commodities, things. Exactly. The company traded off the Dutch Gold Coast of Africa, present-day Ghana. Okay. And eventually they also traded up and down the whole African coast. Okay. They would transport the captive slaves to Amsterdam, where they would be auctioned off to other companies at a profit. Okay. So this work really suited him, and the power over the captive slaves brings out a deeply perverse and sadistic side of him, both sexually and, you know, um, uh, psychologically. Um, it becomes his habit to choose a, a young African girl, age 12 to 13, mm. uh, at one of their auctions and take her to the slave quarters and rape her as a matter of course. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, basically, so, you're saying he wasn't a good man. No. <laughs> he's uh, just, uh, he was, uh, he's just very kind of, like, low, like, um, feeding, uh, like, uh, being, like, like. Yeah. Um, and it, and so the more terrified this girl is, the more it arouses him and the more he enjoys the encounter. Oh, my God. There are never any consequences. Yeah. His actions. But uh, do we repeat the same lives? I mean, it, did he have an, is this life an opportunity for him to come to 
stand before God and, and redeem himself, or is he always just a low life? Well, there's always opportunities, but he doesn't have because I I think that his his, his soul is damaged. I don't oh, think that, like Hitler would be. Yes, he, there is not going to be that moment for him. Okay. Um, and I'll get. I actually something came to my mind. I'll finish this and and, and tell you what my thought is. Okay. It's with, with that, I think. But um, so um, also uh, he he would treat the cargo of slaves, and that's quote unquote okay cargo. Yeah. Um, as things. So wow. sometimes we feed them or give him, them water. Just depended on what was expedient. Um, he had no empathy or compassion. Right. One thread. He thought he was doing a good job if a certain percentage survived and were successfully delivered. The rest were just fodder for the seed. So that okay. kind of sounds like modern day Trump, doesn't it? Like. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> so he um, he never marries and or experiences romantic love in that lifetime. He stays a bosun with the same company for his entire life. Okay. He's not great, but um, he's the mediocre. But um, his rep- reputation is for doing their dirty jobs. Right. What someone else has to summon for, which is necessary for that kind of work. Wow. Um, he contracts syphilis from one of his dalliances at the age of like 40 with a quote-unquote loose woman on a docking in Southampton in England and um, over time that takes a toll on his health both mentally and physically he um, must have carried it over into this lifetime yeah yeah you know I think he did Um, as much as being treated with mercury which was you know as bad as the disease itself in terms of the health toll yeah so he dies on board his ship from acute pancreatitis at the age of 51 okay so, in, and, and the, they say there's no self-awareness in this lifetime. It's very low vibrationally. And he would be called a narcissist in that lifetime, but uh, from our point of view, but he fitted very well with the scheme of things. Okay. If you think about what was going on then and, and just, you know, the slave trade at that time and how and, and through the next several hundred years. Right. So the thing, uh, let me think about what, I, what came to my mind. That, yeah, I mean, I, and I've heard this discussed before, that yes, Trump is... Definitely serving a role. Okay. Um, in in this lifetime, he is the incarnation of evil, and um, I, my guides tell me it's Luciferic. If we're looking at what kind of demon would he represent, that would be like what a, what a Lucifer. Yeah. Um, but Luciferic, um, in, in the sense that he he also had like even though people serve functions, Hitler served a a function in a, a terrible way, and so is Trump. To you know, like a, like car- the karma of our, our karma too. Whatever led up to the, to us allowing somebody like Trump in collectively, not individually. Obviously, or I wouldn't want that. But you know, just in, in terms of how America was rolling, um, uh, and 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 before you know uh, Obama. But at the same time, each person has to deal with their karma. It doesn't really matter that they they don't get points for for for, for serving this function. Oh, okay. Um, they don't get like a like a um, um, a pass. They still have to deal with it. So he, um, you know, Trump is really not uh, faring well in terms of what's going to happen after his this lifetime for him. Okay. It you know there's we always want there to be redemption, uh, I, I, and I, I say for the majority of souls there is. I don't think for every soul. Yeah. I think some souls are just like, you know, I think we're reaching a point in our evolution that. That's not always going to be the case, but um, he, he has really been a, um, a lightning rod for, um, like, uh, waking people up. Yes. And, and that, yeah, so that's the value of him, but at the same time, he's committed so much evil, and more evil than we can even, I mean, the evil that he, the, 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 what he's been involved in and the people that he's been involved with and that whole, you know, like you said, the human trafficking, which would make sense in terms of his last lifetime with this, uh, that lifetime anyway. And, uh, oh, my God, in every in every way. And he's such a brute. Yeah. He's such a, um, yeah, he, 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 he's not the brightest of the bunch. You know, I think Putin and, and others like Putin are, are the ones who are like really like, like Cheney, I would say. Are, you know, oh the yeah, the sociopaths are much brighter, um, uh, smarter. They're not, uh, but you know, um, uh, what Trump is like Mussolini or something. He's just or Stalin. You know, he's just this. Did force. you hear him telling talking trash about Tillerson? Was is that his correct pronunciation? No, no. What, I didn't. I heard what Tillerson said. Oh, 
He called him an idiot, and, and he's not very smart. And all Tosin said is, look, I went into this thing, and he said, this is what I'm going to do. And I'd say, sir, you don't want to do that because you'll get kicked out, basically. He shouldn't have tried to save his ass. But um, he said he doesn't read anything. He doesn't listen. And then Trump turned around and called him all kinds of names because that's how Trump handles things, like a child in a schoolyard, you know? Yeah, yeah, and it's interesting that, like, he calls other people unintelligent because, you know, Trump is just, he's, I, he must have, I heard, I heard, like, um, a teacher of his say that he was just really, 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 like, like, challenged, like, you know, like, um, his, his intelligence, I think, is kind of, like, floating, you know, just below average. Right. There. He, and, and, and learning disabled, too. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, he he can't read, and he's just really. I mean, he was he only you know got propped up and, and into his schools because of his daddy's money. Exactly. Um, but he 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 project, just like the classic you know malignant narcissist. He just projects. So every, I always think, okay, he's saying this. And do you know and, people? He doesn't hear people talking trash about him. He he hears it, but he, it's almost like he's not affected. It's like I'm better than you. You're an idiot. But that's where he lives. Yeah. He, you know, like 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 two boxers that are trash talking each other. He he doesn't hear it as he can't accept it as the truth. No, you're the idiot. Yeah. Yeah, you're the idiot. You know, you're you're. But everything he says is just a projection of what you know his insecurities or what he really is. Yeah. Everything gets mirrored and bounced off. But you, I always I, I'd love to like I I I I I have asked my guides about this, but I really would love to see the proof of it. Every time he said like he said, do you remember like he said. Uh, it was one of his rallies, and, and he said something like, Russians? There are no Russians here. Do you see a Russian? Um, in my mind, it was like, I bet there's a lot of Russians. <laughs> like, like, everybody around is Russian. It's right, be. right. Yeah. Do you remember that? I <laughs> sure I do. I, oh, and I also remember Russia, if you're listening. Yeah, and they, yeah. He's, he's fascinating. I mean, I, I just, he, I mean, I, I, he's horrible, and, and God, I cannot wait till he's gone. But, I mean, we have to... Of course, we have to. It's just our our realities and our. Well, our the whole problems. Washington had to be cleansed out, and he's the beginning. What? All of Washington, all of our corrupt government, had to be cleansed out, and it, and now it begins. Yeah, yeah, he, and he has cleansed out. And actually, that's interesting because my guys were saying that yesterday. I, I was asking them about that, and they said, "Yeah, every single like the, this is why it's a flush, flushing out of all the corruption, and yeah. and, the, and and the healing of it will heal it." Will really heal it at, yeah. the, at the most like a uh, basic level at the like the from the bottom up because it was so flawed it was so um uh, uh I, I don't i don't want to say corrupted but was um yeah you know rust like rust <laughs> like the way that you yeah i mean i i know these group of women that were totally pro-trump and um we didn't discuss politics of course and then now they're like he said he's lying so much they can't hold on to him anymore he just won't stop. So they, so even they have to come yeah. to a point. Yeah, they really and, thought, well, and a, let me tell you, even that guy um, from Fox News said, the bottom line is he didn't he didn't do anything he said he did. That's what he said. He said he didn't do the wall. He oh, didn't Tucker, do this. Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson. Yeah. Whoa, when, yeah. You're, when your own people turn on you. But that, that's fascinating. Every, and because Tillerson... Everybody, he like Trump gets people so angry at him. Even John Kelly's gonna do that at the end. You know, oh, I felt that too. Off. In fact, I, next time I should read on John Kelly for sure. Oh, so, yeah, because I was just listening to um, Joy, Joy Reid. I think she's not there today. Somebody else is sitting in for her. But they were saying that he's about to um, resign. Um, but I mean, they said it a million times before. But I, I guess they're saying that it's eminent or something. But he, but, but he, even he, and I don't know if you know that he. he and I always get this confused. But he was like one of the people in charge of. Um, I don't know whether it was Abu Ghraib um, hmm. or. Um, uh, oh, you know what is the other place? The, um, uh, <laughs> my mind's gone. You know, um, we're 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 uh, we were imprisoning um, terrorists. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah. My my people over here are probably yelling it at us right now. Yeah, they probably are. Why is it? Yeah, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's just like a, like like on the surface of my mind. But he was like one of the people that was like the most sadistic in terms of like the treatment of, of the... No kidding. Yeah. 
But I see yeah. him being mad at Trump and maybe even trying to make himself look better. Um, well, yeah, he's got, I mean, he has to. Like, even he, the sadistic, you know, kind of um, narcissistic, uh, power-hungry guy, he's gotten to the point where I'm not even, like, he's like, and I'm, I'm bad, but I'm not that bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he might write a tell-all book or something. They all do. Oh, he will. He, he definitely will. But he, he's, yeah, people think that, like, because the way he got kind of, like, um, allowed in, um, people just kind of gave him a pass and they didn't talk about, the, like, what, what his role had been. Oh, yeah, when well, Trump loved him because he was military. Yeah, and, and but, he, but he was also exactly like they were. Yeah. I mean, he, he had no, um, in terms of the migrant um, families, No compassion. Like, and, but also, he didn't really, he wouldn't let his children come in and out. Remember that? What? He wouldn't let Ivanka and Jared and those guys come in and out. He yeah, was, he was yeah, in control of Trump for a while. Yeah, he, 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 he had control. And then Trump, that was a challenge for Trump. But Trump eventually, like, that, you know, he was able to, because he has to conquer. He has to always be um, superior and more powerful so he even he wrested that away from john kelly which was pretty amazing if you think about it yeah. Kelly came in thinking he could handle trump in the end no because trump can never be handled by anybody no nope. and he doesn't like anybody getting attention but him he got mad at bannon for for getting i think time magazine yeah. talked about him yeah I'm, I'm looking up as we're speaking. I'm, I'm, I'm looking up Abu Ghraib. But what is, I, I can't believe uh, Guantanamo. 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 That's it. That's it. That used to be in our speech all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, but he, so so you know John Kelly is is evil, but Trump is even like like Trump invested him. If, oh yeah, here it is. Innocence, perversion, and Abu Ghraib. Yeah. Um, so and yeah, there's there's that that aspect too. Okay. That 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 kind of sexual perversity is there too. Right. With these guys. Um, but uh, yeah. Hey, listen. <laughs> so. Um, did you see without? Because um, the time is kind of going. I don't like to do too long a video. But Sorry. did you see anything you can tell us about? It? I don't know if you look towards his future or if you saw his downfall. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. I can. You, you're talking about Trump, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, um, I have been asking this since <laughs> since the, he so-called won the election two years ago, which I, I think I talked to you about that I, I believe was a coup. And I, I, my guides, up to even up to the next day, I'm like, uh, I kept on asking who's going to win, and um, I, 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 they they told me Hillary Clinton won, and I'm like, no. <laughs> Okay. So I guess I, I, I should have asked the question differently, like who are, you know, like who is going to take the presidency or who's whatever. I, I, yeah. I didn't I didn't turn the question around, but still to this day. So I knew it was a coup then. Um, and they told me at that time they said just wait, Melissa, because I was totally freaked out, like like all of us were. Right. And I'm thinking, oh my god, like <laughs> I was envisioning like being kind of taken to you know jail or something because right. I was spoken out about Trump and like what like what kind of future were we going to be able to laugh and we're, we're going to be able to have a life. Exactly. And they said, don't worry, two two years from now, within a couple of years, it's all going to change. Everything and that's what Sterling, that one psychic guy, that I've yet to get his information, you guys, but I will. He, he's pretty fantastic, but um, um. Two years is what I said, too. And that will be two years in office in January. So so my guides t have been telling me, and I, and I again, I, I when it gets to something like this, I, and I, I, you know, I always say anyway when I do readings, take it with a grain of salt. Okay. You know, but um, what, what they told me um, continuously is that he's going to die. He's, he's shown me death. They've shown me, and they've shown me death from... Um, <laughs> Uh, like a heart attack, and I, I don't know necessarily if that heart attack is actually going to be nat from natural causes. That's all I can say. Um, it may be. Yeah, because Russia already says he's a big boulder around their neck, so who knows? Some, yeah, that and it's like some kind of. Um, I never saw him doing jail time. No, I, I feel like, like, like my feeling is at some point it's going to be strategic timing. I don't think anybody's going to 
to really ever be able to prove it. But there is going to be, a, 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 yeah, it will look like a, it, 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 whether it's natural or whether it's not, it will it will look like a heart attack, and it will be like a massive heart attack, and he'll be dead. Um, and uh, and it will be, but I, I, they always tell me it's an intentional thing. Wow. Um, now, that's the first I've heard of that. I've heard from Intel families, people that I read in Washington, D.C., that people work in the Pentagon, and... And I've heard that sometimes that's discussed. Well, yeah, I mean, then there's there's various reasons. There's it, 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 why it will be then, and um, you know, beyond the besides the fact that they hate. Well, them. they worry. You know, it's not just it's not even the inside people. They they're worried about outside people taking them down. They don't oh, really, really. You really don't want him to die young, because or in office, because then he'll be like the martyr. You know. Yeah, I I feel like my guy'd say when this happens, it's not it's like everything's crumbling anyway. Okay. It's not a point where he his face is very strong because it's okay. just everything is falling apart. Even Pence is going down. And I saw that today. I saw something going. Now Pence, I can see like shame. That's weird. Okay. Yeah. All right, girlfriend. Okay. Twenty six minutes. Not bad. <laughs> well, thank you so much for. Uh, Giving me this opportunity. Oh, to. sure. I was so excited. I met someone who can do past lives. And this is Melissa, 734 302 Can you give me a, a little bit of a hint? I can't remember how much you are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I charge $100 an hour. Um, and um, I also want to mention that I do have a Facebook page. It's um, uh, Sacred Fire Psychic Readings. Okay. Um, there's a picture of an, an angel. I. I um, playing out okay so um, and, and listen uh, i'm gonna post this you guys on the in the inbox on this video i'll post it for you too but it's a hundred dollars yeah. an hour yeah all right girlfriend okay I, i'll be talking to you again okay awesome Take you're care. gonna get all booked up and won't have no time for me <laughs> okay honey you take care okay bye-bye bye -bye. wasn't she nice she's a sweetie she like she was giving me bad news and hated to have to tell me. <laughs> She's very sweet. So you guys, I'll let you go. This was sort of long, but very interesting, huh? Do you see how detailed she is? I like that. Um. Okay, so I'll let you guys go, and I'm gonna post this too. Bye.